One of the questions that you ought to ask yourself if you plan on building a helicycle is how much does it cost? And uh, that really doesn't have a definitive answer. I think it's going to cost as much as you want to spend on it. Um, and there is a minimum threshold of, I'm going to guess, for a new one around $65,000, $68,000 just to get your kit uh, from the factory and kind of get going. But uh, of course you have to uh, then uh, manage your build, which is going to require you to buy all of the things that go along with building it and any um, accessories or upgrades or whatever it is that you want. So what I've done and been doing the whole time um, is looking for deals, you know, just get into the uh, community of helicycle builders and try to figure out who has what, what's for sale, where do people live. I mean, it, you know, just kind of get yourself into it. And ultimately that can produce fruit. And um, I think it has for me, I'll show you here. Um, I was able to, uh, from a guy out in California, Juan Rivera, many people that search health cycles are going to come across Juan's stuff. He documented his uh, process of building very thoroughly, but uh, Juan doesn't fly anymore. He's gotten older and he sold a bunch of stuff. So I took advantage of it. Here we have some Canon connectors, um, different electronic pieces that relate to the engine wiring. Um, these of course um, are new and they're, they're in very uh, good condition. So if I, uh, as I go through doing um, the engine, I will make sure that the ones that I got from the factory are sufficient. If they're not, I'll replace them with these, but uh, never hurts to have this kind of stuff if you need it, and I got a great deal on it. Uh, also, um, some of these Adele clamps that are uh, the sizes needed for the helicycle frame, I got a bunch of those from him, um, and tools. Of course, tools are really important, so um, I have actually got most of the tools that I would have ever need. I just bought these because I thought, I thought it was a good deal. Uh, and of course these um, torque wrenches, the digital torque wrenches. One here, the quarter inch drive one is a snap-on. Uh, the half inch drive one um, is a, well actually I think it's a 3H drive, is a um, Craftsman of course and uh, nice equipment. Um, you know, uh, the probably the cherry on top is the um, Bose A20 headset. This was new. Uh, or is new it's uh, still um, you know came with the carrying case and the ear muff parts here the uh, had deteriorated and uh, when I bought them a new set was was sent along with them so these have had the upgrades here and to the head uh, cushion here as well as the um, the microphone shield here all of that's was replaced just due to age uh, but otherwise this thing's in tip-top shape um, the other thing was wire um, I was able to get from Juan uh, this assortment of wire I really don't know what's all in there but and he didn't either but it does look like there will be a fair amount of very usable uh, wire in here and uh, I'm happy to start with that again I got a great deal on it so I'm not going to complain um, and in the end I think this will make for um, on a, you know as make this as affordable for me as I can and um, uh, I've managed now to buy uh, a fair n number of um, just used components that that test well and are in very excellent condition so um, if you're going to build one, look for the deals.